my laptop. I'm taking the Miata over to Thomas's house to try and get my idle to idle better because it sucks. It's like two grand. And it's just fucking annoying. So, I'm gonna hook up this laptop to watch my coolant temps. Probably not even. Just gonna drive over to Thomas's. Let's get this thing started and let's go. Some of you guys that don't know Thomas's car, this is his car. Big ass 18s. <laughs> he went to the drag track. It's not a drag car, guys. It's a drift car. It's got an LS under the hood for any of you guys that don't know about it. If you want to see some of this, it's on my first drift event video. If you want to go check that out. So while uh, Thomas tunes my car a little bit, he has me doing his blinker bulb. <laughs> so you guys are going to get to watch me change a blinker bulb. First step, you need a Phillips head screwdriver. This freaking license plate's in the way. Just want to undo that right there. Wish I had these. Okay. Oh my god. What happened to these long screws? Jeez. Oh my god. See if we can just guys he didn't even have a bulb in there how does he expect to use his blinker shit not wanting to go back in i don't understand why oh there we go so now you just thread this super long <laughs> I changed it. All right, me. Hmm. Did you fix it? <laughs> He's always fixing my broken car. Look what I'm putting in that work. Huh? <laughs> I don't know what you're doing right now. Figuring out your dead time. Oh, shit. Or not your dead time, your, uh, your voltage correction. It's point one seven five, and then it changes. So from ten volts to twelve volts, it's point one seven five. From twelve volts to fourteen, it's point one two. So we'll just hit that in the middle at point one five. So that should be that should be all we need. Let me try to start it. Hold on. I'll save. Here we go, Thomas Miata tune again, Miata power. I don't know how to tune. Never no. mind, Miata fucking... Miata lucky strike. Yeah, lucky strike. I don't even it's know. fine. Luck, luck, attempted luck. If it does good burnouts, that's all that matters. This car does good burnouts? Yeah. First thing I told you not to do was beat on it. <laughs> I haven't even done a burnout, I've just drifted it. Mm -hmm. So, there's difference. 
My subscribers asked me to. I'm sure they did. <laughs> Guys, leave me comments and tell him that they want him to take me to the diner so I can drift my car. Fucking bug. Let's start this thing. Shut the Miata off because it's running like fucking shit now. It's just, it's just bad. I mean, it's running crazy lean. I can't get in the boost no more. I didn't try, Thomas. I didn't try to get in the boost. But yeah. Um, so I've decided that this Friday, I'm not going to wait like two, three weeks, or at least I'm going to try not to. This Friday, hopefully, we're going to be going to the dyno because I just want this thing tuned and over with. And yeah, I want to drive it. So, um, if you want to see more of this car, if you haven't been subscribed, if this is your first video you're watching, check out the channel. There's a lot more into it. Uh, but if you are new and if you've already been subscribed, hopefully this Friday, guys, we're going to take this thing to the dyno and get it tuned. Leave me a comment. Actually, guys, leave me comments on what you think this thing is going to make power-wise at the dyno. Um, I'm not going to be going for his maximum power. Well, I might, but then we might detune it just to make it safe and reliable. But leave me some comments on what you guys think this car is going to make at the dyno. So to help you out, I'm probably going to be running 12 pounds of boost if you want to Google some stuff. That's the only thing I'm going to tell you though. So leave me comments, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And hopefully we'll be back tomorrow for some blow valve videos and a couple little stupid things with Miata. And then Friday for the dyno runs. Thanks for watching, guys.